everyone, I am Jo and today we are going to see fiber and fabric. How a fiber turns into fabric and what is fiber and what is fabric. So let's go. Introduction Today we are wearing beautiful and different varieties of clothes. Different styles, different fabrics, on different occasions. Have we ever wondered what our ancestors were wearing? Well, they wore leaves and animal skin to keep themselves warm from the cold and to cool them from heat. Since the prehistoric, there has been a drastic changes in the clothes that humans wear today. The clothes we are wearing are evolved by time. They are evolved from animal products and from plant products. The clothes what we are wearing are not directly from animals or plants. First humans wore long woven shawls as their clothing. Later these were developed. Gradually, they have learned how to grow plants like cotton plant and slowly learn to weave. How do we make clothes from plants and animals? Have you ever wondered that every piece of cloth that we see started as a single thread of fiber? Now let us understand, what is fiber? Well, fibers are nothing but a long threads. Fibers are of two types, natural fibers and man-made fibers. Under natural fibers comes plant fibers and animal fibers. Plant fibers. We get fruits from plants, roots from plants and even leaves from plants. But how do we get fiber from plants? All the plants have fibers in their body structure. And the fibers we use for clothes are cotton, jute and flax. Cotton. Cotton is the most industrial crop. India was the proud inventor of cotton clothing. Cotton has been used in India since 1800 BC. Cotton plants need warm climate, so it's planted early in the spring. Black soil is excellent for cotton cultivation. Major cotton producing states in India. First comes Gujarat. Maharashtra, Andhra Pradesh, Haryana, Punjab and so on. This is the growth cycle of cotton. From cotton seeds to cotton bud, the cotton flower to the organic cotton. Fruits of cotton plant are spherical. It is called cotton balls. Cotton balls burst open and maturation. Cotton fibers are obtained from cotton balls. When fibers dry in the sunlight, they become fluffy. Ginning. The process of taking or pulling out seeds from cotton balls by steel combs. As you can see this lady over here is taking seeds out of cotton through steel combs and in this other picture manually by hand they are taking seeds out of cottons ginning by machines nowadays machines are used everywhere to take seeds out of cottons bales Green cotton is compressed tightly into bundles. Each bale weighs approximately 200 kg. 
processing of cotton from fiber to fabric. Sliver. Cotton from bales is cleaned, combed, straightened and finally converted into rope which is sliver. Sliver of cotton is a loose strand rope of cotton fibers. Spinning yarn. Sliver is pulled and twisted to get strong thread or yarn. Twisting of fibers into yarn increases the strength of fibers. Charka is a machine on which yarn was spun directly from gin cotton in olden days. Mahatma Gandhi supported this method of spinning in the charka. Spinning yarn. Simple device used for spinning is a hand spindle or a thakli as you can see in the first two pictures. And even in the third picture, spinning of yarn on a large scale is done with the help of spinning machines as you can see over here. Yarn to fabric weaving. Process of arranging two sets of yarn together to make a fabric is called weaving. The clothes from cotton are woven on small scales by hand looms. On large scale cotton, clothes are made of machines. Power looms. Hand looms are the first two pictures. Power looms is the third big picture as you can see. Yarn to fabric, knitting. Process of making fabric from a single piece of yarn either from hand or machine. Some examples of cotton fabrics as you can see in the background is a cotton bud. This bud is turned into beautiful dresses that we are wearing, isn't it? Here are a few dresses. Aren't they amazing? So, after cotton comes jute and this is the commonly and cheapest fiber. It is called the golden fiber. Jute is the cheapest natural fiber. Name of the jute plant is putsan. Jute is obtained from stem. Jute is cultivated in rainy season. Jute plant are cut at the time of flowering as well we will get good quality of fiber at this stage. In retting process, bundles are made to sink in stagnant water of pond to separate fiber. Fiber extracted by hand as you can see and fiber extracted by machine. First from jute plants, harvested plants immersed in water, rotten stems are made into jute fiber. These are the jute products. Bags, cloth, dress, gunny bags, curtains and carpets. Animal fiber, wool from hair or sheep. Wool is obtained from fleece of sheep and goat. Wool absorbs heat so it keeps us warm in cold temperatures. As you can see in these pictures. Animal fiber, wool. The first picture is Pashmina wool from Changra goat. And next picture is yak wool. Animal fiber, silk from silk womb. Silk is a natural protein fiber. Silk is obtained from the cocoons of the larvae of the mulberry silk worm. Life cycle of silk worm from eggs, larvae, 
silkworms, silkworm spinning, pupae cocoon, cocoons ready for making silk fibers. Now it is man-made fibers. Nylon, rayon, and polyester are some man-made fibers. Let's get to the conclusion. So now we know the process of behind making these beautiful clothes we wear today. So we have also learned that these clothes come from natural fibers and man-made fibers. Do you know where does the school uniform come from? Natural or man-made fibers? Yes, our school uniform comes from cotton fibers, which is natural. Thank you. I hope you enjoyed. Please like, share, subscribe and also click on the notification bell so that you will be the first person to see the, our videos. Bye.